Hello, my name is Jesse Carmazan, and as you heard, I'm the founder of Ambrosia, and we're a company interested in making you young again. So we all know that we're aging, as we're sitting in this room, we're aging a little bit every day. And even though it's gradual, it builds up, and as we get older, wear and tear starts to make us a little bit slower, we can't quite keep up, and a little more uh, susceptible to illness. Interestingly, there's a number of companies, such as Google and Jeff Bezos, who are interested in understanding aging at the cellular level so that we may be able to reverse it. And that's what we do. Why is this important? Well, as pictured here, the World Health Organization predicts that dementia and other diseases of aging, such as heart disease or diabetes, are gonna be skyrocketing over the next 40 to 50 years. And it's true here, but also in the developing world, which is why we need scalable, low-cost, ready treatments. And that's what I'm hoping to talk about. Now, as you heard, this is a somewhat of an old idea. In the 1950s, uh, Professor McKay at Cornell decided to sew together two mice. He took an old and a young mice, mouse, and when they were sewn together, he found that the old mouse, which received the blood of the young mouse, became young again. So its gray hair turned black, it could remember mazes better, its heart pumped better. In fact, in every way, it became young again. And today, we're starting to understand exactly how this works. So researchers at Harvard have identified GDF11. And additionally, there's a greater understanding that when we're young, we produce nutrients, growth factors that are important for our health, but as we get older, we just don't produce enough of them. And so our idea is to use essentially excess blood from blood banks and to help you restore your levels of these growth factors. And this is what it looks like. In fact, uh, these are my parents. And uh, they like the treatment. Uh, my dad said he felt uh, very energetic putting up storm shelters for the recent hurricane. And my mother thought uh, her skin improved. It's about two hours. Uh, and it, apparently it feels really good. Um, people say they feel pretty energetic, and, and we'll, we'll get to this soon, but we're also seeing a lot of medical improvements as part of our clinical trial. Now, first, I want to say I know this sounds like vampires, <laughs> but there may be a good reason for that. In the 17th century, uh, a noblewoman in Hungary, Elizabeth Bathory, was actually executed for bathing in the blood of young women. And apparently she was doing this to improve her appearance. And as our science is now demonstrating, well, there, there probably was a fact to these vampire legends. It probably works, but it's not something we recommend. And so we're trying to show that since transfusions are a really common medical procedure, that there's really an ethical and safe way to do this. And now, when people think about aging, they think about their appearance. And I'm pretty happy to report here that we are seeing improvements in appearance. I've seen it myself. It's kind of dramatic. People, they don't look like they're 20, but they do look significantly younger. Their wrinkles are better. Their skin has a better color to it. And furthermore, on the medical front, we're seeing improvements in patients with symptoms of Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's, diabetes. We measure about 150 biomarkers, which is a fancy word for blood tests before and after treatment in our clinical trial. And we've already seen improvements in things like amyloid. So after just one treatment, we're seeing a 20% reduction in amyloid, which is the protein responsible for plaques. We're also seeing subjective reports of improvements. So patients are telling us they're able to lift more weight and that they're feeling stronger. We're also seeing improvements in the biomarkers related to cardiovascular health, such as cholesterol, but also things like inflammation. So we really think from both a medical and a, and a cosmetic perspective that this treatment works, and I totally understand that it's sort of an interesting and perhaps even creepy idea. But to tie back into the science, we know that as you get older, your stem cells aren't replicating as well as when you were young. And this leads to most illnesses. So in your brain, it leads to a loss of neurons and Alzheimer's disease. And in your knees, it leads to arthritis. And what's interesting is in those parabiosis experiments, 
And what we're seeing today is that stem cells are able to reinvigorate and it can actually rebuild tissue. And that's a pretty remarkable thing. And so, with daylight savings coming to an end, I say, why don't we try to change our own clocks the way we do with the seasons? And if you're interested, we actually are still treating patients at our two clinics. We have one in San Francisco, another in Florida. And we've just treated our 100th patient. So our youngest patients are in their 30s, which is sort of where we start. And our oldest patient is 93. And so that's an interesting idea. You can get past the gruesomeness of using blood. Um, feel free to find us. Thank you. <laughs>